UK Sports and the PGA Tour are delighted to bring you the season-long race for the FedEx Cup. Today's coverage of the Valspar Championship is about to begin. Pleased you could join us for this first round action. I'm Luke Elvey alongside Rich Beam in the booth and out on the course following our feature group is the delightful Henny Koyak. Hello Henny. Hey guys, I can't wait to watch these two go at it again. It was an incredible battle first time round and I think there'll be a few shots fired out here. Yeah, big rivalry this one. Xander Shoffley, one of the most formidable opponents in the game. Oh my, that was launched. Let's see what kind of tone he sets for himself today. Oh, absolutely flushed. Lining up from about 230 yards here. Oh, looks like they're going for the green. Good aggressive play here. Well, that's showcasing their power there, Rich. Using all of his muscles to get that one home in two. Oh, you set yourself up with an eagle opportunity. Oh, so close. No, that's too bad. Just three feet to the cup. Currently one under for the day. Water is a feature here at the Copperhead course of Innersbrook Resort. Rich, and it comes into play at the second. Downhill tee shot. You want to keep your tee shot out to the right as best you can to take out the trees that hug the left-hand side. Green sits well above the player's second shot. They won't see how close they hit it from the fairway. What kind of shot are they facing here, Henny? He's got, mm, I'd say, a solid 145 here. Wow, they really put on a show with that approach shot, and their rival, Xander Shoffley, appears to be taking notice as well. Uh, this one's from downtown. He's staring down a birdie putt here. That's a good putt to make. You'll take that. Before this putt was hit, they looked their playing partner in the eye and gave a signal. That was mean, but fair. This really looks good. The putt drops, and that's back-to-back -back birdies. Kind of like it. Two in a row. He's feeling it. Well, good move there. Anything north on the leaderboard's always pleasant. Rich, it's uh, a challenge, to say the very least, the third hole. Yes, most players aren't going to take out driver as they just want to lay it back of the water that creeps out on the right-hand side. From there, it shortens up the second shot, believe it or not, to a green that pitches from right to left fairly severely. Your misses can't be out to the right with your second shot. That is a no-no. Do you like the view from where you're standing, Henny? Sitting up here from about 155. Opting for the 9-9. Nine -nine. Great looking shot, this. That was special. Already had a few birdies today. Another opportunity for another one. Let's take a look. Just a four footer remaining. Right over the spot they were looking at. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's happy, just came off a birdie. Second shot here on the third. Oh, Rich, how good is that? 
I mean, you've got to expect this kind of stuff when you stir up a rivalry with a tour player. This is what they do. And they'd be feeling buoyed with confidence after that birdie. Here's a good chance to maintain the momentum. This is a challenging par three, no doubt about it, Luke. This green pitches from right to left and from front to back, making it almost impossible to get it super close unless you have a perfect number into this par three. Yep, that shot safely on the green. Trying to get it to four under with this putt. Ooh, right by the hole. Oh, I don't mind this par putt. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Stretching out over 600 yards means the par 5 fifth is no snack. It is. Luke, I rarely say that par 5s on the PGA Tour are challenging, but this is definitely one of them. It's an uphill tee shot and a second shot that is downhill moving from right to left that's completely blind for these players. There is a tree about 100 yards out, which is going to be something they aim at when they lay up. Third shot, though, is very basic down the hill to a fairly flat grain surrounded by some bunkers. More than likely, most players are going to have to lay it up on this par five. Not bad. And here we are with the third shot. Going with the nine iron, I think. That should find the surface. Terrific approach and a chance for a birdie here on the fifth. Eight feet to the cup. Always nice to hold those for a birdie. And that will take him to four under. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead. The tee shot also critical here at the par four sixth at 455 yards. This is probably the hardest fairway to hit on the PGA Tour, Luke. This fairway cambers from right to left at a pretty good clip. And unless you work your tee shot from left to right, a high soft shot, you're not going to find the fairway. This is almost impossible. The second shot will be from an awkward stance where the ball is above you or below you to a green that's perched a little bit above the players. Thankfully, though, it's a very flat green. Oh, this one should find the surface. Good shot, this. Outstanding shot. High quality. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's two strokes ahead in this group rivalry today. This is Xander Shoffley. Wow. That was handy holding out from there. And that will move him up the leaderboard as well. Let's return to live play now. Always love these opportunities, especially when it's for birdie. This looks good. Oh, well played. And that will take him to five under. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. 
Standing on the seventh tee, players get to breathe a sigh of relief having the sixth behind them. You know, Luke, this is sneaky hard, to be fair. You don't need driver, and so you might get lulled to sleep a little bit by taking three-word out just for position. Any misses to the right or the left, and you'll be blocked out by some pretty gnarly trees. The green tilts from right to left ever so slightly, and watch out for those deep bunkers fronting this green. They'll grab your golf ball in a hurry. And Henny, what are you seeing down there? He's got roughly 105 yards here. Going with the pitching wedge here. Just needs this one to kick right. Tell you what, they've got their rhythm going there. That's another green in reg. It's amazing to see how good this player is in full flow. This putt coming up is for birdie. Looking really good, this one. And that putt will give them birdie number six on the day. And that will move him to six under par. Well, that was a positive hole. A little shift up the leaderboard. Well played. Well, if you haven't felt snake bitten already, the eighth at 230 yards, Rich, will certainly get you. Everybody loves a 230-yard par three, don't we, Luke? They're just wonderful, wonderful designs. And I'm laughing because this is nearly impossible. This green is just a sliver up there. A high shot moving a little bit from left to right is an absolute must on this par three. This would be a momentum saver here, getting this up and down. Oh, that had eyes for a lovely shot. That was spectacular, Luke. Great work. Great shot. Trying to get it to seven under par with this putt. This is what they have left for birdie here. Oh, gee, that line was looking good, wasn't it? There's part of about six feet coming up. Good looking putt. Nice little putt to hold that one. Currently six under for the round. Ball striking continues to be the order of the day as the players arrive on the ninth tee, a par four. Yes, just thread those bunkers off the tee shot somehow with a driver. Second shot is going to be straight back up the hill. And once again, with the pin position over on the right-hand side, players will be unable to see where their golf ball pitches. This is a quality par four. Yeah, that'll work. That's fine. Around 110 yards to go. Choosing the 9-iron nine here. You like that, didn't you? We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? This one is chewing fiber. Oh my God. And that'll promote a good move up the standings. OK, let's get back to the action. This putt to get to seven under the card. Go on, get in the hole. And mark it down. That's birdie number seven on the scorecard. And that will take him to seven under.
All right, Rich, we've made the turn now into the final nine. What are your thoughts so far? Well, Luke, this rivalry we have been watching has been fun. This player is behind their rival as we make the turn. It'll be fun to see how this matchup shakes out. Wow. We let the big dog eat on that one. Woof. From around 120 yards here. And not a bad approach. He'll be putting. Birdie at the last. This for another. Trying to get to eight under par with this putt. Looking for another birdie here. Rolling end over end. This putt's looking great. And that will drop in for a birdie. And that will take him to eight under. Very few parts of the golf course make you feel comfortable, but chance of birdie at 11. Finally, we have a birdie hole. Just avoid that bunker down the left-hand side. Find the right-hand side of the fairway. And you can go ahead and chase one up there. Even if you can't get it on the green in two, that front bunker is not a bad leave. But beware, there are some trees over on the right-hand side that could block you out. Oh, that was pure. Uh, just hoping for an outcome now. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. Birdied their last hole. They'll have to work extra hard to get out of this one. Yeah, this is not what they wanted. There might be a couple of hits here. Terrific shot. Who could have thought you'd hole it? OK, let's get back to it, shall we? Getting ready to play their third. How close was that to going down? This one's for Birdie. Beautiful shot. Our leader is a couple of shots up at this stage. Well, a birdie's also in your heart, standing on the 12th tee. A short par four, Rich. Decisions to be made? Just a long iron or a hybrid for this tee shot here, Luke. Second shot, we're coming in with some kind of short iron to a green that's protected by a deep bunker in the front. Yeah, that one will play. And what's in front of them there, Henny? Setting up here from about 145 yards. Opting for the 9-iron. This one looks to be on a pretty good line. That's a terrific shot and sets up a birdie opportunity here at the 12th. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. He's currently ahead in this rivalry. Let's see what happens. Looking great now. Seven feet to the cup. Looking good. Oh, what a super shot. Our current leader is enjoying a two-stroke lead.
lucky 13 for some. This par three plays 200 yards. Look, this tee shot is about as hard as eighth grade algebra. It is absolutely mind bending. It doesn't look like much, but that green absolutely, rip I think the green is made out of Gore-Tex. It repels golf balls. Well, that's a handy shot. Henny, you've had the chance to have a look over this one? This one will run uphill. It's on a great line. That was a gallant attempt. A par putt on the table. And well hold. Let's move on. Currently at 10 under par overall. The second of the back nine, par fives, rich 14. There's plenty to it. Only the biggest hitters in the game can reach this one in two, so any tee shot just out to the right is ideal. That way it leaves an easier shot out to the left for your layup. The third shot will be going downhill to a green that tilts from back to front, guarded by a deep bunker over on the left-hand side. You find the fairway with your second shot, you've got a really good chance to hit your third in there close. Yeah, you hit a beauty, didn't you? And here we are with the third shot. Yeah, nicely played. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's feeling good, just birdied the last hole. Oh, you beauty, an eagle. Oh, beautiful little pitch shot down the hill. Thank you. Gets it to go. Great shot. A birdie putt awaits. Oh, just missed. Putting for a par now. Down she goes. Let's head to the next. The leader now has a one-stroke advantage. The long par three continues to be a feature here at the Copperhead course, and 15 is no different. It is. Thankfully, though, this is the flattest green or one of the flattest greens on the golf course here. It's basically just a long iron down the hill to this flat green, but don't miss it left. That is no good. So I might need to sit. That's tidy. We'll now move over to Xander Shoffley. Oh, he's out in front here in this rivalry, but can he stay that way? That's outstanding. What a putt. Oh, yeah, that's huge. Oh, that celebration. That's a little spicy. I don't know if these two are going to be talking now. What's in front of them, Henny? Setting up this part 14 feet from the cup. Get excited. This could go in. That's a lovely putt to make for Birdie. Take some pride in that one. Now at 11 under for the day. Always like to see your name moving up the leaderboard. Never a bad thing. The Copperhead course, the snake pit, we're right in the middle of it. There's some trees over on the right-hand side that you want to take it just left of to find the center of the fairway. From there, you're going to go in with a mid-iron to a really small green. A high, soft shot is required to hold this green. Uh, not quite the shot he was wanting. Got great connection here. Yeah, this is looking good. A yeah, quality shot, that. Looking for back-to-back -back birdies here, Luke. Oh, 13-footer coming up here. Make this. It'll add up. Short game has been especially sharp today, Luke. Very impressive. Okay, steady now. 
It's just about three feet away. This is what they have left for a part. And as they leave that hole, Rich, you'd imagine a little bit frustrated after such a great shot in. Our current leader is enjoying a one-shot lead. The Copperhead's penultimate hole is a good par three playing up the hill. It's a tough tee shot, plays longer than what's on the yardage. Any pin that's in the front part of the green is a difficult one to find as the green is so narrow. Mm. That's right out of the copybooks. Exquisite. Ooh, good look at Birdie here. And down it goes. Now heading over to Xander Shoffley. He's sitting there just in third place. Here's Xander Shoffley. that for a par tough bunker shot no bother whatsoever for this player they find the bottom of the cup the leader now has a one stroke advantage the closing hole of Innersbrook's copperhead course is also the final hole of the snake pit and this one here has everything going against it Lay it back, and you're going to have a long second shot back up the hill. But if you take driver and find the fairway, you'll be rewarded with a very short second shot. Handy effort, that one. And they're playing from about 140 yards out. Fingers crossed for a good kick to the left. That should set up another chance. And this putt is for birdie three on the scorecard. Ooh. Well, that's a bit disappointing. Just three feet to go to the hole. Don't miss this. They can be costly. And with that putt, concludes.